another vlog. I am here for the first day of Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. This is the first time that I've ever been here for like day one during the day, so I'm super excited. I know a lot of people like to hate on Epcot's Food and Wine Festival, but it's my favorite festival because as a picky eater, I can confidently say that there is something in pretty much every single booth that I want to eat. So I'm here with my friend Tamia. We both are doing vlogs if you want to go ahead and watch hers, but we have a long, long list of food that we want to eat and I'm not sure if we're gonna get through all of it so we might need to come back another day but I'm super excited got the Epcot ball behind us it's a somewhat beautiful day there's a possibility of rain later on so that'll be a little bit of a bummer but should be really fun and I can't wait to try all of the foods there's a ton of new foods this festival so super excited and fingers crossed that we'll love everything but I will give you guys a full honest review of everything that I think of because there's a lot. First up is the land. One, for much needed AC, but two, because there's a caramel apple milkshake in here. Pretty sure that's the name of it. I'll show you guys once we have it, but we have a list. We're sticking to our list. This was stop number one, and we're really excited for this one because it looked so good. I think it's down at the quick service down here, so we'll go check it out. This is what we're here for, and you can't tell me that that picture doesn't look amazing. Here she is. Look at her. I love her. I'm also pretty sure this is a cake pop cake pop on top she is so pretty I can't wait the hair has gone up because it is a million degrees outside but Tamia just tried it and she said it tasted exactly like apple pie so I have really high hopes for this let's see Genuinely so shocked at this. No, it literally tastes like an apple, like a like all ended apple pie. No, actually, that's insane. That is so good. Are you kidding me? Okay, let me do a bite of the cookie. That's pie crust. This is insane how good this is. Is this the best thing at this festival now? <laughs> The first thing we try is already a hit. You know, it's going to be a good day if the first thing you try is already a hit because we've had a lot of festival misses in the past. This is insane. So good. The one thing I will say about the milkshake, though, is that she is thick gums. So be prepared for that. Like, it's not a smooth, like, fun milkshake. Like, you're going to be you're gonna be working for it, but she's worth it. But that's why you can't convince me it's not a blunt about apple pie. Because no, it's yeah. I can believe that. I, I believe that. It is. It's so good. So we we'll start <laughs> We can only go up from here. Yep. <laughs> Maybe. So I mentioned this earlier, but I told you guys that to me and I have a list. We did a whole one hour meeting about this. Like, this is the most serious we've ever been for a festival. And I just want you guys to see the scroll on this list of foods that we have to try. Like, there's a 0% chance we'll get through all of it, but we did highlight like what our favorites were. So hopefully we'll get through all of those. And we are here all day in theory. So we can take breaks and then continue eating, but that's, that's her. We'll see if we get through her. That milkshake was such a good way to start, but now we're heading over to Communicore Hall to the mac and cheese booth. They have a Philly cheesesteak mac and cheese over there that again, the picture looked amazing. So I have really, really high hopes for this. We've tried like different mac and cheese creations in the past and at other festivals, and they always tend to be really good. So fingers crossed that this is another one. Here is the menu for mac -tizers. They have four different mac and cheeses. We're gonna be trying this cheesesteak mac and cheese because it just looks the best to us. They do also have a ton of beverages, but they did tell us that they are officially out of beer and it's only like 11.15 right now. Um, so just know that this is a very popular booth. The line in here is also super, super long. So try to get here early if this is one of those booths that you definitely wanna try. I would also just like to note how cool it is to see them making all of this in the kitchens back here. And here's the cheesesteak mac and cheese. It looks so, so good. I'm excited to try this. 
I've been saying I'm excited to try everything, but I really am. <laughs> we also found a nice spot outside to sit just by the Encanto stuff. So I didn't mention this, but there's not a lot of seating inside, and that booth has a huge line. But if you walk right outside, um, the side where like the merch is, there are tables out here. Um, there's also the lawn that you can sit at, and there's umbrellas back there. So don't feel discouraged if you don't find a seat inside, because there's other places to sit. I'm going to go ahead and give her a try. I'm going to try the mac and cheese by itself first. I see what you're saying. The mac and cheese is like, okay. It's not like the best cheese. Yeah. But now let me try it with a little bit of everything. Mmm. That is so good. But it is giving fajita over cheesesteak more. But it is really, really good. Although this is a 10. But it is really, really good, and I would get it again. Next stop for us is Connections Cafe. We unintentionally did all of the AC spots first, but we are getting our first alcoholic bevy of the day, and it is already 11.47, so basically the afternoon. Here's our first alcoholic bevy of the day. This is the Blackberry Kaipi Rosca. Um, it is Tito's Handmade Vodka, Minute Maid, Lemonade, Strawberries, Blackberry Syrup, and Frosted Mint Syrup. Okay, I will say the pictures of this drink looked not just spill any. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> the pictures of this drink look a lot better than what it looks like in person, but they filled this all the way to the tippity top. Um, so it's kind of impossible not to spill. We've already had a couple of spills, but let's see what we think. That's a good drink. Are you, I gotta take another sip. I'm sorry. That's a good drink. We picked good ones today. <laughs> it's such a good drink. Because we had our one hour meeting. <laughs> Literally. Okay, the drink was 10 out of 10. Absolute get it. But it is a little expensive, even for Disney prices almost. I mean, everything's expensive at Disney, but it's $16. Um, and one thing we have found out today is obviously with alcoholic drinks, you never get a pass holder discount at Disney, but with like any of the festival booths, there are no pass holder discounts. I don't know if that's always how it's been with festivals. I guess I just never noticed it before, but just keep that in mind if you're coming, that you're not going to get any kind of discounts. So the price you see online is what you get, but still really, really good. And I mean, it is a good size, so I'm not mad at it. We are finally headed over to the World Showcase. We're starting off in Mexico. There are two foods and a margarita there that are pretty sure new. At least new to us, so we're gonna go try those. But if you couldn't tell above me, um, it's not looking great out here. It looks like it's gonna storm pretty soon. Thankfully, we did bring our umbrellas, but we may have messed up a little bit with... We're not gonna look at the lightning, to be honest. <laughs> we may have messed up a little bit with starting with all the indoor spots, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna try our food. We are here to give you guys the best reviews and we're committed to it. And here's the Mexico food menu. We are trying the flato de barbacoa, the pan de elote, and we're also getting the mango sunrise margarita. Everything looks amazing as always. Mexico is always a really good booth, so this should be a good one. But as you can see, the clouds are coming overhead and we are starting to feel some raindrops. So hopefully it holds off a little bit until we can find somewhere to sit after we order it, but it does have a bit of a line today, so we'll see. All right, here's our haul from Mexico. This is the pan de elote, then this is the, the flauta de barbacoa, and then the sunrise margarita or sunshine margarita. Not a clue. I said the names earlier, but everything looks delicious. We did also end up coming inside to the Odyssey, which there's something here that we might try a little bit later on today, but it started to rain um, outside, so we just, we just ran in here and found one of the standing tables. Hopefully though, this rain only lasts like 30, 40 minutes. Again, fingers crossed, that's the that's the thing for today, but hopefully it only lasts a little bit um, and then we can go back out into the World Showcase and try some more foods. I'm gonna start out with the Sunrise Margarita. I, I'm gonna go back and see what is in here and I'll put it on the screen because I can't remember exactly what it was, but it does have the tahini rim, which we know that always makes a good margarita, so that's it. It's a good margarita. Although, ooh, ooh, 
I don't know if it's just from the rim, but she has a little spice to her, which I was not expecting. It's not my favorite margarita that they sell in the Mexico Pavilion, but really, really good one for the festival. Starting off with the barbacoa flauta. Pro tip, uh, don't forget a knife when you pick this up because we forgot it and it's a little bit hard to cut. flavors in it. My only thing is I feel like it tastes a lot of corn. It is like it tastes like, like corn it's a very corn tortilla which is I think it is. That would make sense then. Fried tortilla. It doesn't try. I'm gonna assume it's a corn tortilla which is obviously a lot more authentic than a flour tortilla but I'm just not the biggest fan of them. But it's still a solid choice. I'd probably give this maybe an 8 or a 7 out of 10, but still a good one. Now for the pan de lote. This chocolate on top? Yeah, it's like a dark chocolate. That's an interesting mix. I don't know how I feel about that. spongy cake part of it is good. Yeah, like the corn cake, the corn bread. Yeah. But the chocolate on top is just... It's like dark chocolate. Maybe that's why. I'm not a big dark chocolate fan. Yeah, so it's not going to be overly sweet. But it's like, I feel like it's too sweet though for it. Like, I don't know. It does taste, it is really sweet. But I don't mind it. This is a no for me. What do you rate it? Maybe a four. And that's being generous. Not my favorite. And the next stop on our world food tour is America. They have some hot dogs here that look absolutely fantabulous. So there's a couple of them that we're gonna try. And as always, I'll let you know what I think. And here's that full menu for you guys. I think we are gonna grab the New York style and the Southwest style, but they do have five different hot dogs, or four different hot dogs, and a chocolate pudding. We did have the chocolate pudding, I think. Yeah, we had it in our orange list, but I think we're gonna skip on it for now, just so we don't get too full on desserts. Here are the two hot dogs that we've got. This one is the Southwest. It has beans, jalapenos. The hot dog is also wrapped in bacon, so you know, a little bit of a heart attack in a bun. That's okay. And then we've got the New York style here, which the caramelized onions on this looks so good. I'm gonna try the New York first. I don't even know. There's so many onions on here. And I'm like trying to figure out where to hold it, but she looks, she looks glorious. It's really good, but also confusing. Like, I don't know. I don't understand these flavors. Go ahead and try it. <laughs> it's not bad. I just, I'm slightly confused. I don't even know how to rate that. It is. Oh, okay. That's what it is then. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. But I don't know if it's like my favorite, like my choice to put on a hot dog. Yeah. But I'm also an onion girl, so. No, the onions are good. The onions are good. Now the Southwest. She looks a little intimidating. I'm not gonna lie because she's like a tiny hot dog, but she's she's girthy. <laughs> She's small, but She's small but mighty. All right, let's go. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe this booth just isn't for me. It's not bad. But I feel like because of the bacon, it almost tastes a little overcooked. 
Like I almost like the hot dog in that one more, the actual hot dog. But I didn't get all the beans in my first bite, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do another bite. I don't like it. It's too many beans. It just feels like too much starch, like all at once when you bite into it. Because there's like the bread and then the beans and then like, I mean bacon's not starch, but I don't know. It's, the bacon is it like dry? The bacon's a little dry. The beans are a little dry. I feel like there's not enough of the sauce that's on top. Like they should have put more in it. I don't know. I just, I think it's a mess, which is really sad because she looks delicious. Like, like the photos of this. Oh my god, I'm just dropping everything on myself. The photos of this look great, but I feel like the execution's just a little off, you know? So maybe like a five out of ten. That's not bad. I, I mean, we're not trying this because the pictures even look sad, but it's not Italy nachos bad, you know? I feel like that would be a solid one. So it's not that, but I feel like there's better. Also, pro tip for you guys, it is a million degrees outside, so on top of the pair going up, we have pulled out the fans. So if you do not have one of these when you come, probably until December when it starts actually cooling down, you are missing out because it is so hot out here. You can literally see the sweat all, all on my head. It is disgusting out here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We lost a little bit of motivation after those hot dogs. We're in a little, a little food slump, if you may. But we're going over to the Japan Pavilion next, which has one of my favorite festival foods of all time, of all the festivals. And it is the chicken teriyaki buns. Those are cantabulous every single year, so hopefully they'll be just as good this year. And that'll take us out of our little food slump. We also really need to get some water because like I said earlier it is scorching hot out here and we're just on a low right now I also just absolutely love the look of this pavilion there's a store in here that has a ton of Japanese goodies um so if you ever have the chance to come here make sure to go into the store and check it out because it's honestly really awesome here's that cool menu for you guys so today we're gonna be trying out the teriyaki chicken bun like I mentioned and also the ragu Tamaki sushi, which is new, I'm pretty sure, for this festival. I'm also going to be trying out the sake because to me, I just tried it before and she said they always have some really good flavors. So let's see what we, what we think. We've got some drummers going on out here to really hype us up on our, on our eating journey. It's giving me the motivation to keep going right now. We found a little spot up here in the Japan Pavilion in the shade right outside of the restaurant. There's really anybody up here. Um, it's a really great spot to hide out from the sun if you're looking. But we got quite a bit from Japan, so give me one second, I'll show you. Starting off with this Wagyu like handheld sushi. I forgot the official name for it, but again, I'll put it on the screen if I remember to do that, but this looks absolutely delicious. We also got the chicken teriyaki buns, which I told you guys are my favorite thing ever, and I have really high hopes for it. If this is not as good this year as it has been in previous years, I might actually cry because she is delicious, and I'll show you guys the inside once we take a bite of it. And last but not least, we got a little shot of sake, which, sake, sake? Someone please tell me how to say that. Um, which came in this like fancy schmancy little gold cup, golden black cup, which I love. Super cute. We also did get some water because like I mentioned, we are dying here, so that was a need. First things first, gotta drink your water, kids. I know it's Sasani, but that really just felt amazing just now. Okay, now for the actual foods we need to try. I'm gonna start off with the sake, sake. Again, someone please tell me how to say that. It's fermented rice. Well, good thing it tastes like rice. I mean, it's not bad. Right, like it's not. I don't know if I can drink a whole lot. No, this is definitely meant to be a shot, not a. Well, probably not. It's meant to be a sip, but. Yeah. But I feel like you should drink it as a shot. This is what that one looks like on the inside, for those of you guys wondering. So it's literally stuffed in there with all of the meaty goodness. And I already know. I already know this is gonna be a 10 out of 10, but for the sake of the video. I'm so happy we came here. It just brings me joy. The day they take this off the festival menu, I'm not coming. I'm we'll not never come back for this festival ever again. I'm not renewing my annual pass. <laughs> 
I'm kind of nervous about this seaweed. I kind of feel soggy. Oh, I was just gonna eat it with the fork. Oh, it's with hand roll. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it's falling apart. It's you know what? The fork it is. Take three. <laughs> Mm. It's not bad. The bun is 10 times better though. I feel like if we had eaten this before the bun, I would have been more impressed by it. But the bun is too impressive. Look at this perfect picture with the Epcot ball right here in the center. That's beautiful. Just walked over to our next stop of France. There is one item here on our list that we're going to be trying out. We did skip some booths in between just because they weren't on our priority uh, taste test list for day one. Um, but maybe we will come back and try the rest on a different day. And here's that full France money for you guys. We are going to be trying out this um, goat cheese. I'm not even going to pretend to know how to say that. I took French in high school and that's, that's all gone. But... They do have quite a bit of options. Next time I do want to come back and try this creme brulee because um, that is my favorite dessert ever. Here's what we got from France. I was told it is called the Maillot de Fromage. Uh, so there goes my French from high school. But um, it is basically goat cheese with stuff in it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, she's like a beautiful creamy goodness. I was not expecting that. I don't know why. <laughs> That's a no for me if you couldn't tell. I never liked it. I am. I mean, it's cheese, but there's also egg, which I think we knew there was egg. Yeah. So but what it's like confused about. I don't know. I don't know. It just tastes kind of gross and warm, and it's not it. Why is it so watery? It's just not good. It's like, so it's the texture for me that's weird, and then the it also just, just bad. Yeah, it has like a weird, like, onion flavor, which I guess makes sense, but like, what is, it's not in a good way. Is that just a block of cheese on top of it? I don't know. It's not good. That's cheese. That's a definite skip. That's the goat cheese. That's all the goat cheese that there is. No, you're joking. Please keep in mind that this is basically called, like, a goat cheese thing. And this tiny thing here is the only thing of goat cheese that's on it, we're pretty sure. It's just, no, it's just gross. This, this is a definite skip. Yeah, this is a definite zero out of 10. It is $8. I mean, it's huge. You do get a great portion if this is something you like, but it's just gross. I am gonna try this goat cheese though. Goat cheese just tastes like goat cheese. It doesn't even taste good though. Oh, no, 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 do not, don't get this. Pass, pass, do not get it. Don't even look at it, don't breathe in its direction, don't you know. And don't breathe in its direction, yeah, no, this is a no. All right, we are headed over to Hawaii next, which has another one of my festival favorites that comes back every single year, and it's the Alani Sunrise. This is the drink, and when I tell you that one of my friends and I, every time we come here, we call it like our go-go juice because it just gives us the energy and it tastes so good. Um, so we're gonna go have that next and wash the taste of this atrocity out of our mouth um, and then we do have about a hundred minutes until our guardians reservation is ready um, so hopefully we make it to that <laughs> and we don't give up on Epcot before then but a hundred minutes isn't too bad I think I think we'll be fine. By the time we finish the drink we go to the bathroom, yeah. walk all the way to Hawaii which is literally so yeah. Yeah. fun. Yeah. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Alright and here is the full Hawaii menu for you guys. Like I said we're doing the Alani Sunrise which is vodka, dole, pineapple juice and grenadine. I usually do get the slow roasted pork sliders from here as well. They are super super good so if you're coming definitely try them out but we have just been eating for four hours we counted um and we are full so we're just gonna go for the drink for now here's the alani sunrise i do remember her being a little bit bigger before so i'm afraid shrinkflation has hit disney but she does look beautiful with the flower right on the top there now is she as good as i remember it that was the question she's pretty good this honestly just tastes like juice. You do not taste the alcohol in this at all. At least I don't. Want to give her a try? Sure. Oh, this tastes like juice. Right? This tastes like like a tropical juice. Like orange juice mixed with something else. Yeah. 
Put your gun to it. These are good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it because I've been talking it up all day. No, it's actually. <laughs> so yeah. I'm glad you like yeah, it. Yeah, Shanique has been like, oh my god, this is the best thing you're gonna have all day tonight. It's actually so good. We hopped into the store to check out some of the merch, and we've got a pass holder tee. I actually kind of think this is cute. Some of the old pass holder tees that they've had for these festivals have not been that cute, but I really like the, the little Mickey and Minnie here. I'm also loving these decorative cutting boards. They're super cute. They have a ton of merch here this year, from oil cords, picture frames. I mean, if there's something that you've been looking for, I'm sure they have merch for it. I also really really love all of the cups and the wine glasses. I used to have one from the first food and wine festival I came to that broke, so it might be time for me to upgrade my cup. They also have the travel version of it. If you want to take some drinks on the go. These shirts are not my fave just because of the cutoff of the arms, but they are actually really, really soft now that I've touched them, and I feel like they would be good for the summer. I just don't really like the design too much, but super cool. There's something if you're looking for it. And one thing I am loving is the simplicity of these hats. They do have kind of like a shirt to go with it of that color, but I just think it's such a cute, simple little Epcot hat. It doesn't say too much. I wonder if there's something in the back. There is. This little food and wine festival in the back, and it's only... $30, but you do get a pass holder discount on all the merch if you are a pass holder. And of course, as to be expected, there is a ton of Figment merch. I do actually really love this mug. I'm not the biggest Figment fan, controversial opinion, but the mug is really, really cute. And the travel tumbler too is actually really cute. I like that they went really colorful this year and it's not, not held back. In years past, it's been a lot of burgundy, but we're seeing a lot of purples and oranges. There's the whole wall of t-shirts here. Lots and lots of color, and I actually really, really like it. This shirt is actually super fun with the tie-dye and figment. I wonder if there's anything on the back. There's not, so I actually like that because sometimes they put too much on the back, but these are super cute. One thing that I am absolutely loving is these ears. They're lounge fly ears. There's a lounge fly that goes with it. I'm going to see if I can find it for you guys, but the ears are so cute. They just have a little Disney um, little purple banner on the side. Got Figment eating his grapes and cooking us a little meal there. It's super cute. And here's a matching Figment backpack for those ears. I love it. It is giving a little bit of Halloween to me. I don't know. It's the colors, and I do love the colors, but it's giving Halloween. I'm not mad at it, though. If you're a Corksicle fan, they do also have the Corksicles for food and wine. You've got all the little countries on here and different items from the festival. Super cute. And this one, let's see, what's the price on it? It's $45. I feel like that's not too bad for a corksicle. There's another food and wine mug. This one's actually really cool. I might like this one a little bit better than the figment one, but it, super cute. It has all the country symbols and it does come with a little spoon. And oh my God, wait, the inside? Wait, I love that. How much is this one? Let's see, $24.99. That's not too bad especially with the pass holder discount. They do also have a ton more merch around the World Showcase at different booths throughout the like, different countries. Um, I stopped and took a video on my phone, which I'll post on TikTok, but they had one booth that had like Taylor Swift merch that is up just for this festival. So definitely go and check it out while you're walking around and eating all the food because there's way more merch to look at than what's just inside of the stores. I did also just lose Tamiya. We were looking at the merch. And I walked away from her for two seconds, and now she's gone. So, let's go find her, because I don't even see, I don't see her. And she's wearing red, which at Disney is a very popular color. Wait, I found her. All good. All good. <laughs> Just influencers in the wild, guys. We, of course, couldn't do a proper Epcot day without hitting Guardians before we head out, so that's what we're doing. Nothing to worry about. I love swinging out stop this from usually a large man. And you're likely doomed. You get a need. the way back. All the 
way? To the Big Bang? 95% certain. Which means there's a 5% chance we're just in a tunnel. A tunnel? In space? We've seen weirder things, Quill. We are hot, we are sweaty, and we are full, so that means it's time for us to go home. But there were a lot of good and some bad booths that we saw today. There's a lot of stuff on our list that we didn't get to, so I will definitely be coming back before this festival is over. Long until the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.